Welcome to our first CRGO tutorial. Today, we are looking at the structure of a CBOT code. CBOTs are written in C Sharp language and runs on the CTrader platform. When writing a standard CBOT, you have to first declare the code namespaces which will be used within the CBOT. These namespaces are called by default when you open a new CBOT. The using system and using system.link are standard C -sharp namespaces that provide access to classes and interfaces that support queries that use language integrated query in bracket LINQ. Next is the CIAlgo API which gives you access to all default classes of the CIAlgo programming language. If you plan on using standard indicators like the moving average, the parabolic SAR or the stochastics oscillator within your EA, you must call the API indicators namespace which is the CIAlgo.API.indicators. The internals gives you access to items like chart objects, market data values like open, high, low, and close prices. The CIAlgo.indicators is only used when you are creating an indicator for CTrader. So it is different from the CIAlgo.api.indicator which lets you apply indicators to your robot. Next we have the namespace CIAlgo. This is the segment where we define our robot class and write our robot code. At the start we set the access rights and the time zone which will be used by the CBOT. If you put your cursor on access rights and press the F1 key you will be shown the explanation for it and how it is applied. Same thing can be done for any default function you do not understand. Just place your cursor on the name of the function and press the F1 key and you will get something in the reference. If you don't find it, you can always google for help or ask a question in the questions section. The access rights allow you to give the CBOT access to the internet, file system, registry, or just access to all. If you wish to access the file system, you can specify, specify access rights.file system. You can also specify for any function whose requirement stretches outside the CTRADER platform, like reading text from from a txt or csv file or writing to them or visiting web pages and getting values from them it mostly depends on your preference and the functions you require the ea to carry the cbot to carry out Sorry. within our CIAlgo namespace we now declare our robot as a class called len1 this is actually done by default by the CIAlgo compiler when you first create a new CBOT. The entire code we see now is generated by the CIAlgo when we choose to create a new CBOT. All we have to do is first set up our parameters and then fill in our robot code. Now the default value parameter is just an example of what a parameter should look like in code. The C algo generates this to tell you that your parameter should take this form. Now let's say we want to create a parameter called volume which will represent our trade size and will be of type double with a default set value of 1000. Now we can also limit its minimum value and its maximum value depending on what we want the parameter to be set as. If you don't want a negative value as minimum, you can set min value to zero. User will not be able to go below zero 
when setting the volume and if you don't want more than 10,000 as the max value you set max value as 10,000 user can never set 11,000 or 10,001 as the volume value the volume below is what you use within the Seabot code that's when you're referencing the value and using it in your code operations but the volume written as a string within the double quotes as in red text is the name that will be shown when you open the Seabot parameters on your C trader when you're about to execute it this is what you see you can call the parameter enclosed in double quotes any name like volume to trade or volume to set that will only change what is displayed to the user but only the volume below will be used within the Seabot code the volume variable will carry the value chosen by the user when the user sets his parameters while executing the Seabot the Seabot has three areas the on start, the on tick and the on stop When the Seabot is first placed on chart, all code within the on start are executed. As the platform continues to receive ticks from the broker, the on tick is run once each time a tick is received. So if the platform receives, receives a price for EURUSD and the Seabot is on EURUSD, it will run that to run the EA code at that time and to do this repeatedly until the tick stop coming to the platform the on stop is however run when the c-bot is taken off the chart thanks for watching